welcome to another news video. This time it's on the Marvel's Avengers project, and we were just given proof yesterday that it was officially going to be at E3. It was rumoured, and it was very likely because we hadn't heard anything about it for so many years. But it has been confirmed to be at the Square Enix project, and now we have some some leaked information on what the game what the game's presentation is going to be talking about. It was added to the E3 schedule with this description, which was then removed a bit after, which means it is clearly real and it clearly wasn't supposed to be up yet because we weren't supposed to know any details about it really, except for the really short teaser trailer until their really big reveal. But what this description does say is that it allows us to embrace our powers and join key members of the development team at Crystal Dynamics, which is who, so those will be the people talking at the showcase, and the creative team at Marvel Games, as they talk exclusively about the upcoming Marvel's Avengers. Uh, they call this the defining. I've got. I'm doing quotation marks with my fingers. You can't see that. The defining Avengers gaming experience. Uh, an epic accident action adventure, which is what genre we expected this to be. It wasn't going to be, you weren't going to be stealthing, like sneaking around as Hulk. Yes, it says, with cinematic storytelling, which is lovely. I mean, Spider-Man PS4 had amazing story. And if they can continue in that form with all of the Avengers together, that will be great. With the storytelling, with continuous single-player and cooperative gameplay. So I assume that means that this is going to be made for you to play with your friends and become the Avengers in co-op, and it says four players. But you, if you don't, well not if you don't have any friends, if you don't want to play with friends, if you want to just be a, a solo Avenger, it doesn't say yet whether you'll be accompanied by AI Avengers or if it will just be you doing a solo mission. But yes, you will be able to choose between single player and co-op gameplay. Uh, this is mod moderated by Andrea Ren, and it says assembles in teams up to four, four players, as I said, and master extraordinary abilities, which will have to, will be unique to each hero, so I assume Hulk will have up his huge leaps and obviously his big slams and then you'll obviously have, you'll have like Iron Man flying around, Doctor Strange probably fl or flight floating at least, maybe not as quickly, and then Spider-Man with his webs, hopefully Spider-Man is a part of this team. But yes, it says you can also customise your heroes, which is that's pretty cool. Uh, it was been it was foretold, it was leaked a while ago or rumoured that it was going to have a Destiny model which was being you upgrade as you grind more, as you complete more missions, you get more XP and you get more whatever the currency is, you get more of it to then customise your hero so you can give them new colour patterns, new pieces of armour, maybe even new abilities as you progress you get more powerful abilities to keep up with the probably increase in difficulty of your enemies and it says to, you can combine powers to defend an ever expanding world under constant threat. So I believe that means there'll be just random events as you go through the city where it's this constant threat. So you'll just, like in Spider-Man PS4, you'd swing around the city and then you'd just hear on the radio, oh there's a certain gang attacking civilians here, go and help them out if you, if you feel inclined. And an ever-expanding world, again going back to the Destiny comparison, I, sp I guess that means that it's going to be updated many times as we move into the future, they don't want it to just be a, we'll, like, we've published it and now we'll leave it by the wayside, like, and so they're going for continuously supporting it after release, like pretty much every game has to now, otherwise it won't be deemed that great of a success. But that is all of the description that's been told yet. The official Square Enix showcase is at, it's on June 11, and it starts at 6pm Pacific Time, which is actually, if you're in England, uh, 2 a.m. So I can't wait to stay up just to see some more Avengers gameplay because, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, it will be worth it. But yes, I hope you enjoyed this. I will be keeping up. I will be publishing videos or uploading videos here on games that I'm interested in in the future. So like the Call of Duty and this Avengers game, without a doubt, I'm already in the mindset that I'm definitely going to be buying this. And the amount of time they've been developing it, I'm, I'll be very surprised if it disappoints me. But yes, thank you for tuning in for this video and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.